Welcome. It's time for top tension taming tips. Five top tips for taming your tension anywhere, anytime. You don't need any other things. You have all you need right here. That's right. You have the tools for taming your tension within you. You just have to tune in. <laughs> Crank that dial of awareness up. Okay? And the more you practice these top tension taming tools, the more you'll just automatically implement them because they've become a part of you instead of another thing you have to remember to do, right? Powerful stuff. So let's get going so that we can keep going with more ease and efficiency. Tip number one, breathe. Pretty simple, huh? <laughs> Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth stimulates the relaxation response. Yes? Notice how if I slouch and crunch over to look at my phone, it changes my voice, it compresses my chest, and I can't breathe as deeply. But as I sit up, as I sit upright, then my voice comes more freely and my breath has more ease. And if I reach up, then even greater freedom, more energy in my voice, in my body, in my being, and the breath comes much more freely. So remember to tune in and check how you're breathing. Our chest will compress our airway when we start to get stressed or anxious and our shoulders come up. So notice if your breath is short, is it full? Is it coming all the way down into your belly and your diaphragm? Or is it up here in your chest, in your collarbone and short and <sighs> breathe like the ocean waves in and out. Opening, allowing, expanding, emptying, letting go, releasing. Yes, refresh, renew, revitalize when you breathe. Simple and something you hopefully have with you anywhere, anytime. Next, scan. This is tool number two that you have with you anywhere, anytime. I already talked about it in tool number one. Notice, tune in, scan. Scan your body. Just kind of like do a little once over and see where it's sticky or tight. Wow, where's why, why is that shoulder hiked up like that? What have I been doing to my neck? And then maybe, you know, you wanna shake it off. But the very act of noticing, of scanning, is awareness, and awareness creates change. Even if you don't actively do anything, there's usually adjustments that happen. There's processes that start when you bring your awareness and then focus your attention to things, deeper levels of awareness. Right? <coughs> Terrific tools that you have with you anywhere, anytime. Number three, move. An M, yes. <laughs> move. <coughs> do, 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 do. Move. It doesn't have to be big movements. I'm going to move right now. That's right. That was a power move. <laughs> Yes, it doesn't have to be some big move. Lift the weights. No, just move your body. Maybe it's just a little nod. Maybe it's a little wiggle of your shoulders. Maybe it's just sitting up a little more aligned, a little more upright. Maybe it's a little twist, a little wiggle. Maybe you got to shake it off, bounce it out, right? Maybe it's running around like a dog with zoomies. <laughs> that can be fun. Yeah. There's a lot that you can do depending on where you are when you need to move. Yeah. But the, the trick is to go back to step number two, the scanning, the awareness. And step number one, the top tool, breathing. When you integrate those three, you've got a really 
powerful mix for taming your tension anywhere, anytime. So let's move on and add a little touch, right? Oh, you might want to put your hand on that, that top tension spot. You know, the one where At Atlas held the way to the world. Oh, <laughs> and we all collect a lot of tension there because it's busy holding our heads on so they don't go rolling off down the street, right? <laughs> and because when we get stressed, we'll hike our shoulders up, you know, and the way we live our lives in the modern world. But instead of trying to dig it out and thinking, oh, I'm such a mess. I've got so many knots. I'm so tense. I'm so tight. If you just say, hey, you know, it's all right. It's carrying me through life and just rest your hand there and breathe. That's going to unwind a lot of tension. Just rest your hand there and notice, scan. If you hold and notice longer, like a minute, you'll feel things happen without you really doing anything. Yeah. Now, if you just rest your hand there with touch and move your head and neck, wow, that's really going to start unlocking some tension because your muscles are going to go, hey, we're supposed to be able to slide across one another and move. And that's not happening. So your body's going to kickstart some processes to start loosening that up when you remove your hand without you needing to dig and dig and dig and possibly bruise or injure yourself, right? And when you do that digging, you're traumatizing an already traumatized muscle, right? If you're all wound up, do you want somebody to push you? Do you want somebody to tell you to calm down? Just relax? No. Maybe you just want somebody to hug you. Maybe you just want somebody to sit there and show that they care by noticing. Yeah? Be that for yourself. It's that simple. Let's move on to number five. Engage. Now that's taking all four of these and kind of wrapping them together, it's adding a little bit of action to these terrific tension taming tips. Take for example, the hand here on the shoulder again, right? On that top tension taming mountaintop <laughs> tangle. There we go, tangle. <laughs> muscle puzzles. Now, if you're here, there's a law, you know, it's called reciprocal inhibition. Okay. If you flex your bicep, then your tricep automatically has to lengthen to allow for this contraction. So engaging can be that contraction, right? Go ahead and squeeze your shoulders up to your ears. <sighs> And then squeeze them down to the floor. And then squeeze them up to your ears. And then release. You feel how that unwound some tension, opened up some space, allowed some things to flow? Now you know. <laughs> there you have it. Now, that was the five top tension taming tips. A healthy, helpful handful. I've got one bonus tip that didn't make the top five because you don't necessarily have it with you everywhere all the time. And that, my friends, is water. Hydration, incredibly helpful for taming your tension, for refreshing your cells, much like the breath did. <laughs> yes. They work together to deliver the nutrients and stuff that your cells need to operate and to flush out the stuff that they no longer need. Remove the waste. There you go. Those are the top five tension taming tips and the bonus. So in practice, The more familiar you are with these, the more likely 
you are to be able to just tap right into them when trying times arise. Yes, that's why martial artists practice all the time. That's why military and police practice with firearms all the time. We rehearse these skills that we need to use, that we need to just integrate into our being so that they are just responses, automatic, autopilot reactions, you know? Kind of like when you were learning to sit up, to crawl, to stand, to walk, to ride a bicycle, to drive a car, to use this thing. <laughs> it wasn't so easy once, you know? So practice these things. They not only help you feel better in the moment, but it's more likely that you'll start to automatically utilize them to prevent the tension from building up in the first place. And that's the goal. That's the wise way. <laughs> okay. So hit me up if you have any questions. I'm here to help. We can dive into your specific tensions, your specific muscle puzzles, painful complexes, whatever you've got going on. Maybe you just need some handy tips to help you take more breaks during the day, whatever it is. I'm here to help, or I can direct you to the right person that can help you and whatever you're going through. Meanwhile, practice the top tension taming tips here in the Happier, Healthier Humans community. I'll see you soon. Make it a great day the wise way.